So I am going to speak about about what would happen if all the people on Earth would jump at the same time. What would it? What would happen? What good or bad will happen if we all jumped at the same time? For example, for suppose if we gather all this, all the people on Earth, that is seven billion people present on Earth at some destination or some location. Suppose they are all there and it is a coordinated jump. Coordinated jump. Which coordinated. Coordinated jump. Which means that everyone jumps at the same time. Everyone jumps at the same time. Now it's time to jump. One, there is a countdown, three, two, one, and everyone jumps. The first thing that would happen when you land is that it is going to, there is going to be an immense amount of energy released at that point of time. The first would be that there would be a, such a huge sound that it will destroy our eardrums, our eardrums. Ear drums. Ear drums. It would be destroying our eardrums. We won't be able to hear anything after that. The second most, uh, the second thing that is going to happen is that the landing would create or develop such an immense amount of energy that it is going to shake the ground beneath us. Only fraction, only a small fraction of energy would be absorbed by our shoes on our legs. The rest of the energy released would be absorbed by the ground. So it would cause it might cause an earthquake, earthquake of uh, units 4 to 8 uh, of magnitude. Uh, it can cause uh, an earthquake of magnitude from magnitude from 4 to magnitude 8. The, an earthquake of magnitude 4 might not be a, much of a big deal it might just crack some roads and uh, destroy a couple of uh, buildings which are, uh, 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 which are not which are some old buildings etc. But, um, uh, but an earthquake of magnitude 8 can destroy huge, tall, strong buildings it can even destroy bridges it can even destroy, it can destroy rail tracks, train tracks. There. And also that this, this shape can uh, trigger, trigger a tsunami. A tsunami of height more than 100 feet. And which means that it is going to wipe out uh, if it hits a part of land, it, it means that it's going to wipe out a uh, huge amount of population, especially if all the uh, of all the people on Earth are present there. And, but even though these things might happen, the Earth, the Earth will not move, even. Even, uh, uh, even the slightest from its orbit, from its uh, orbit, from its orbit. So, not even seven billion people can uh, uh, seven billion people together can cause a disturbance in cosmos. In cosmos. It cos cosmic systems, right? Cosmos is in the cosmos. In the cosmos. Uh, 
Yes. Did you understand what he said? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Did you understand? Yes. Okay. Any questions from Ashok? What is magnitude? Magnitude is the level of uh, or intensity. It's like a reading. A magnitude thrown earthquake means it's a small earthquake, just some some shakes. Magnitude eight means it's of a high level which can destroy buildings. That so magnitude is a level of reading. It's a reading. The amount of the or the, the intensity of a. Did you understand the concept of 
presence, presence simple and subject verb matching. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Can you explain to us what we are explaining? Now pay attention. If he makes a mistake, you have to correct him. Principle and subject verb matching. Subject verb matching. Yeah. Both. Principle and subject verb matching. Explain. Present simple means which uh, which we are which we are doing regular. Regularly. Regularly. Something that happens regularly. Something that happens regularly. Okay. Give us an example. Example. Many examples. I, I study. You, we, they, she, he, she, it. I study. You can write anything. I study. Perfect. Mashallah. Daily you can write down. Uh huh. Daily. Yeah, sure. Every day. Now, if you don't write every day, is it correct or not? If you just say I study, full stop. Is it correct? No. Yes, it is. It is correct. I study. That means you study regularly. You didn't tell us how often. How regularly? You did not tell us how often you study. You don't listen now. You got to listen. Right? I study. You are not telling us how often. But if you write every day, you are telling us how often that regularly is. So if you write I study, it's good. I study every day is also good. They are both correct. But when you say every day, you are just giving us more information. I study, you are not giving us information about how often you study. You understand? Okay, more examples. They play. Okay. Very good. She eats. Eats, we can write eats or teaching. Sorry? We can write eats or teaching. No. If you write teaching, it will be. Eats only. No. 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 Listen. When we said if you have the verb plus ing, what should you have before it? She is. Is. That means it's happening now. So you're saying principle that happens regularly. You're not talking about something that's happening now. It may be happening now. But what the message you're trying to give us is that it happens regularly. And that one instance of regularity may be now. But that's not what you're trying to tell us. You're trying to tell us that it happens regularly. So if you say she is teaching, that means it's happening now. Whether she teaches every day regularly, you don't know what she's teaching now. Right? But you're telling us that she teaches regularly. So, she teaches. That's it. We can't have RNG. Very nice. Okay. His son. Serious. He? I see any son. What's that? Sing. Sing a song. So what should you say? Sing a song. See them. Original, you said the original form is teach. Yes. You added S. Sons. What's the original form of song? C. Right. So he? C. So she reduced the word. Yeah, one second. Right? He? Where's the S, man? Sings. You understand? Are you sure? Yes. One second. Yes. She read newspaper. She? She read newspaper. So what should you have? The original word is read. The basic form is read. Read. So what should it be have? She is what? Singular? Yes. Yeah. So she? She reads. How do you spell it? R E? R E D E S. At the end? She reads newspaper. What letter do you have? R E? Okay, you have S. Yes, good. She reads the she, newspaper. She reads a newspaper. Or she reads the newspaper. The 
distribution. Right. There, there's a distribution of O and L over here we talked about. Okay? He sings. Come on, keep going. It. You sit with it. What would it be? It. Okay, it and sit. So what should it be? It's singular. Huh? It's singular. Loudly. It's singular. Loudly. It's singular. Exactly. It means one or two or three. How many? One. One. Singular. That's why you add S. Yes. Look at he. He is singular or plural? Singular. So, what do you have? Sun. Right. She. Singular or plural? Singular. Do you have what? S. Exactly. For singulars, you have S. Except for I, the singular is treated like plural. You may be singular or plural. You could be plural. You could be singular. It's treated like plural. Exception. You understand? Okay. So, uh, I. Uh, okay. Rub it off. Give us some more examples. New examples. Rub it off and write it. some new examples. You. You write. 
Well, you. Quickly. 